Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, Oil and Gas Training. Process Safety Management. We are starting a new subject uh, from uh, this video onwards. PSM, Process Safety Management. Uh, it's a large subject and uh, it's focusing on uh, total safety of the uh, oil and gas industry, uh, hydrocarbon industry. So, uh, it's uh, covering a lot of areas of operation, pupil, environment, equipment, occupational safety. So, many things are there and uh, let us see, uh, we can... Uh, uh, divide this uh, process safety management into different parts and uh, different sessions. So, uh, we, we, we will cover uh, uh, total uh, all uh, necessary information from uh, process safety management uh, PSM in uh, various uh, uh, number of videos. Welcome to this video. Process safety management, some of you heard about the word and uh, it's uh, a large meaning is there, large definition is there for uh, process safety management. PSM is an OSHA, uh, Occupational Safety and Health Administration standard. So OSHA is a standard, it's an international standard and uh, uh, most of the countries are following it. OSHA is... Uh, American based international safety standard uh, is an OSHA standard that requires employers to identify, evaluate and control the hazardous associated with the highly hazardous operation and the chemical, chemicals used in the process. So in a nutshell or in a brief way, in a simple way we can, uh, we can um, conclude that what TSM is uh, is a process safety management. Uh, it consists of uh, handling and managing all safety in a hydrocarbon industry. All safety related matters you can say better. As are including operation, uh, pupil, uh, equipment and chemical <coughs> used in their process. A key provision of the standard requires employers to conduct a thorough risk analysis of the entire operating position, uh, process. So a, CVS, a thorough risk analysis is very, very important. What are the risks employ, uh, involved in the process to finding out the risk. So uh, how we can minimize the risk, how we can eliminate the risk. Uh, etc etc we can find it out what are the possible solutions or procedures for uh, safe and efficient operation of the plant uh, or, or process how we can develop these are the uh, uh, main key element we can say in PSM. Process safety management is a practice see very important definition it's a practice we have to practice it to manage a business operation critical to process safety. It can be implemented through established OSHA scheme or others. So uh, normally it will, uh, any process industries OSHA uh, PSM standard or PSM implementation based on the international standard. <clears throat> what is the aim of uh, PSM? Objective of process safety management is to ensure that potential hazards are identified and mitigation measures are in place to prevent unwanted release of energy or hazardous chemicals into the location that could expose employees and others to serious harm. See process uh, PSMs uh, or any type of safety objective, the first objective to protect cover uh, operating people that is the first objective or eliminate risk that is uh, against acting against operation then only equipment will come 
then only the environment will come so the first and most preference importance is for operating uh, manpower so here psm is uh, ensure potential hazards are identified first identification and mitigation measures are in place to prevent unwanted release of energy or hazardous chemical why psm is so important psm is a standard procedure is a practice is a system is a management psm is essential for managing complex chemical operations as well as simple operations involving hazardous materials the elements of psm focus technology facilities and personnel what is the role of psm in process safety management the term psm become became prominent because an osha regulation international standard regulation that requires business to properly manage hazardous chemicals with the goal of creating safe workplace this is very important safe workplace not only in hydrocarbon industry any type of industry we can use psm in fact we are using psm and preventing unexpected release of toxic reactive flammable liquid and gases that can cause disasters <coughs> PSM aims to prevent the large scale disasters like explosion on the other hand occupational safety management aims to prevent more individual level safety incident like falls or uh, uh, some other individual uh, occurrences uh, lower level uh, safety incidents the key the key process of of a safety management system are hazards identification occurrence reporting risk management performance measurement and quality assurance so the key processing area of a psm creating uh, crafting or creating policies and procedures in your organization that will be implemented also plays an essential role in the direction of your program three pillars management commitment understanding hazards and risk management of risk and learning from experience make up the key element of an effective process safety management system process safety is a part of uh, process safety management in fact process safety is a, Uh, efficiently and uh, safely managing is process safety management so simple definition of process safety for your uh, understanding and general knowledge process safety is about understanding hazards and risk in any type of hydrocarbon industry not only hydrocarbon industry in all industry hazards and risks are there uh, risk are there so identify hazard and risk then minimizing or eliminating and mitigating this hazards and risk is the, the efficient safety management system process safety is about understanding hazards and risk managing risk by providing appropriate layers of protection to reduce the frequency and severity of incidents and learning from incidents when they happen so in the process safety you can see pupil process and technology it involves identification and understanding of potential hazards key elements of components of psm accountability so we can simply uh, define and understand some key elements in a psm so in this figure it is 14 uh, elements are here and related to some uh, definition i am providing here so you can see here uh, some of the key element this is the key element and knowledge and operational control hazards identification and control participation and management incident uh, learning and response in each four element there are some uh, couple of uh, uh, sub elements are here so based on this one some uh, key area to cover in the definition area 
accountability the first one objective and goal that is very important for any management system uh, we have to find our objective and we have set our goals management commitment at all level is necessary for PSM to be effective the objectives for establishing accountability are to be are to demonstrate the status of process safety compared to other business objectives like production cost management uh, control or quality improvement etc but this one is establishing accountability is very important to set objectives for safe process operation and to set specific process safety goals these objectives should be internally consistent that is supported by appropriate resources key components of accountability are management is responsible second in uh, uh, accountability or objective and goal there are some sub elements i told you that on each four element there are some sub element like uh, setting the goal and objective there are some sub elements are there number one is 1.1 continuity of operation management is responsible for resolving the conflicts between meeting production and cost target and shutting down or reducing output for planned or unplanned maintenance or modification to avoid compromising process safety continuity of operations is the best addressed uh, at the planning stage by features such as spare and redundant equipment multi train rather than single stream of operation independent capability to shut down small section of the plant so many uh, uh, continuity should be there in that one uh, redundant operation or uh, multiple multi train independent capability to shut down so etc etc in we have to consider in design stage number 1.2 continuity of systems accountability of process systems extends beyond the process unit in question to include adequate resourcing of supporting job functions or unit for each phase of the life cycle of the process so continuity should be very important it also extends beyond the organization itself to include a relationship with external providers of goods and services where this could significantly impact process safety assignments of resources should be driven by the process hazards rather than by the economic viability of the process so always process hazards is uh, should be consider uh, not economically it is a safety of the people equipment and environment 1.3 is continuity of organization changes in organization structure can have a severe impact on process safety accountability should be flexible through to accommodate uh, flexible enough to accommodate such changes while ensuring that process safety takes are properly assigned and performed throughout the change 1.4 is quality of process very very important accountability of the process safety has much in common with the accountability of for quality process safety problems can be seen as known conformance with specifications and many of the techniques used to establish systems for quality can be applied to control process safety performance 1.5 is the control of exceptions so exceptions are to be controlled to maintain a well defined process safety management procedure flexibility is an important in management system since it is often not practical to attempt to specify in advance exactly how each situation should be handled variance procedures should allow expect, uh, exceptions to be managed with appropriate controls 
by assigning accountability to qualified personnel. 1.6 is alternative method, any suitable and safe and efficient method to be identified in the design stage itself when the bottleneck is coming. Accountability is more difficult with the performance standard which identify only desired result than with the specification standard which also identify the means to be used. Where guideline methods are suggested, example for process hazard reviews, ASOP studies or operation uh, procedures, uh, standard pro operating procedure, etc. Persons using alternative should be accountable for ensuring that the method selected is at least as effective as guideline method for the intended purpose. 1.7 Management Accessibility Success, uh, successful PSM makes senior managers accountable for being accessible to their staff for support and guidance on process safety decisions and for resolving conflicting views among safety, engineering, maintenance, production and business managers. Number 1.8 Communication is very very important in process safety management. Senior managers should communicate their understanding of process safety accountability for their unit and individuals within it. This accountability should also include communication and coordination of overlapping responsibilities between individuals or unit to ensure no gaps occur. 1.9 is uh, company uh, expectations. Broad process safety goals should be established by management and should include philosophical issues as well as detailed target. The decision making should the process should be driven by the safety culture of the organization rather than by ad hoc solution means not a temporary solution should be permanent and well driven well defined and it should be safe, say, uh, safely and uh, uh, it should be focused on safety and efficiency of the process and people and organization. Metrics should be established to monitor performance and compare result with design intent and a target must be consistent with other aspects of the organizational vision or master plan. They must match any other constraint and the availability of resources. Expectations and performance should be periodically reviewed. This is very, very important. To control the tendency of substandard behavior or condition to be treated as normal, normalization of deviance, where they could lead a serious incident. Good performance in personal safety should not be taken as, as an indicator of the effectiveness of control or major hazardous. So performance should be appreciated but it should, should not be set as an indicator. So indicator should be from the design point of view and a periodical review must be uh, important to uh, uh, remove uh, substandard behavior or improve the quality of PSM again and again. Thanks for watching this video. Definitely we will go through in more and more details of PSM elements and various other process safety parameters in our coming videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.